We're going to create our own sprite here. To make your own sprite, you can choose a sprite to start with. Uh, and it doesn't matter which one you pick. And what you're going to do is you can go ahead and delete what was already there. So you just right click, delete, right click, delete. You can delete what's there. This sprite I actually made myself. And you do need to make your own sprite for this project. And the way I built this one, I mainly just use the line tool. You can put, uh, you can't fill a line, but you can choose the outline color. You can do gradients and different types of gradients here. Change the color, saturation, and brightness. There's also an option to grab a color on your screen right here. If you have already finished or, or have some type of uh, start to this, what you can do is click on this right here, reshape, and you click on uh, what you've already built and it does let you change things around. Maybe I wanted to do that uh, or make this longer, et cetera, et cetera. So I just wanted to do kind of a simple shape that looked decent. Then you need to create a second costume that will be used when it's moving forward. So I'm envisioning a spaceship moving around. So the second one I did, I duplicated the first, just right click duplicate. You can edit the other one. And what I did is I added in, behind it, I added in an oval. And of course the oval had a gradient. I wanted it to look like there's uh, like a thrust rocket afterburner type thing going on when I push the forward button. And so what this looks like, whenever I push forward, it switches to the second costume. And we'll look at the code to do that next.